Hey what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel today. Today guys we have uh, a brand new like type of video on the channel. It's uh, still career mode based but um, I've seen uh, a comment in one of my previous uh, career mode videos. It was one of my uh, Juventus career mode videos. Um, hence why I'm on the Juventus career mode. Um, I'll pop it up on the screen now. Um, as you can see it was just basically saying if you if I could show my custom tactics or formations um, <clears throat> for the career mode. Now Obviously, if you can tell, I'm a little bit ill at the moment in terms of my voice, but I'll do as best as I can to um, give you a clear insight on my form best formation and the best custom tactics that I have for um, the formation and the player instructions. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment um, your thoughts on this type of video if you want to see more in-depth videos like this on any of the career modes that I do on my channel then feel free to let me know if you are new around here subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss a video now I'm going to use this Juventus one obviously I, I finished the career mode off you've obviously seen that and um, <clears throat> we did pretty well we won the league won the cup unfortunately we got knocked out in the Champions League semi-final but we do have this squad which is very very tasty I'll just run through the team <clears throat> right now Chesney, Cancelo, Benucci, Chiellini, Sandro, Rabio, Pogba Dybala, Costa, Bale, and Ronaldo. Now, <clears throat> obviously we've got a really good squad here. So, I'm going to talk about the formation first. <clears throat> it is the 4-2-3-1 narrow. So, obviously, as you can see, you can already tell that Costa, Bale, Dybala, they're a bit, obviously, narrow. That's why it's called narrow. A bit indensed and closed off in the formation. I really like this because it just offers a bit more support in the middle of the park. So, we've got Pogba and Rabio who... Obviously, they're the two holding midfielders. Um, it allows Dybala to drop back and get the ball off these two type of players, um, depending on whoever you have, if you choose to use the formation. And it also allows Costa and Bale to also come in and uh, <clears throat> play, that, obviously, the narrow role and come in and get the ball, play the 1-2 of someone like Dybala or even Ronaldo, and then run down the wing, cut it inside, shoot, cross, who knows what they're going to do. So, yeah, this is why I like this formation. If I go over to the formation, obviously there you can see it now. You play a left wing, right wing, cam, CDMs, two, and then obviously a striker. Now, if we want to look into the tactics of this formation, so, <coughs> obviously, sorry about that. <coughs> so, for me, I really like the constant pressure. Um, as you can see, it obviously gives you a little demo of what, what that obviously means. Obviously, when they have the ball, you have constant pressure. Your player's always um, pressing the ball. And um, I really like this because the formation suits us really well. Obviously, you're playing narrow, so you've got all most of your players are in the like middle. Of, say the ball's in the middle of the park. Most of your players are playing narrow, so they're all around the middle of the park essentially. So if you've got like three or four players pressing the ball, you can win it back within seconds of losing the ball or them having the possession. So that's why I really like having constant pressure on with this formation. Um, I think it's really really good. In terms of the width, as you can see, I kind of keep it near the middle. Obviously, that that's that's near enough the middle, because obviously, obviously you are playing the narrow formation. But if you play, you don't want to play too like um, narrow, because obviously the, the formation itself is a narrow formation. But if, you, if I was to play like that, look how narrow that is. That does leave gaps in the um, wings and stuff. So if I have it on this, <clears throat> it does give me that uh, option to play um, wide and keep the gaps closed. But obviously. Um, the formation is narrow so it does essentially um, not push you out wide but it does give you a little bit of width if you just change this slightly so that you're not getting caught out in certain positions now for the depth um, I really like having my team quite high with the, this formation I think it really helps especially with the possession say we've got the ball in their half our defense will be literally at the halfway line near enough um, and it's just good it having high the, the depth really high is good for the <clears throat> when you're passing the ball possession and just say we get a counter attack our defense will be high up so uh, it doesn't affect us as bad if a ball was going over the top or ball was going through um because obviously we're really high up and obviously our formation is quite narrow so they go hand in hand so i think this really helps having the depth really high i mean in terms of going offensive possession is the key because obviously you're playing a narrow formation you just want to be doing that tick attack of passing um, real quick movement and stuff like that so possession for the offensive style is 100% um, needed for this formation and style the width again it's this kind of this it's literally the same one I'm pretty sure we check no it's okay it's one less okay but um, 
I think because when you're on the, on the attack, it's good to have the ball like in the middle of the park, kind of, uh, or just outside the box, passing it round, and then eventually shoot, pass, whatever you want to do. Um, players in the box now, <clears throat> if a cross was to come in, say Cancelo for this team was coming down the line, whipped it in, bomb the pit, uh, bomb the box, literally. Obviously, I don't want to have too many because that means someone like Pogba or see, look, if the dot that stays in doesn't move, that could be like Pogba, for example. But if I do that, that puts Pogba in there, and then you put that as Rabi as well. So it, having this it allows Pogba to be there, edge of the box, just in case. It allows like Costa, Ronaldo, Dybala, Bale, for example, to go into the box and just flood the box in the set, essentially. So I do think that's a really good feature. Um, uh, just flooding the box essentially. In terms of corners, I don't really mess around with the corners and free kicks. I just have it on. I'm pretty sure these two are the default settings for that. Corners doesn't really matter. I don't really score many corners and free kicks. I don't really get many free kicks. And if I do get them, I don't cross them. So that really doesn't matter. So that's been the tactics for the um, formation. I want to go through the player instructions. Obviously, the keeper and centre backs I don't touch. Um, attacking runs Cancelo. Sandra, I like to keep them stay back while attacking, but sometimes they will venture forward. Um, same with Rabio, I keep one of the CDMs definitely stay back while attacking, and then the other one will have a default one, so he'll do both going forward and going back. <clears throat> Just offers a bit of uh, uh, a different approach because obviously Rabio's going to be staying back, and if we get caught out, Pogba may or may not <clears throat> have gone or uh, stayed back, so it's just a bit different, um, changes it up a bit. Uh, for Dybala, I don't really change him because he, obviously he's he's more of a like centre forward in a way. So <clears throat> I don't really change him. Costa, uh, getting behind, 100% sporting runs, getting behind, uh, really really good with that. Let me just check that. Yeah, getting behind, um, I really really like that feature. Same with Bale. Um, let's go back to Bale. I I've also got him to cut inside because obviously on the left foot, cut inside and just drill one in the top corner. The amount of times I did this with my in with Bale in my career mode is really really good and for big man up top Ronaldo it's just attacking runs just getting behind because obviously you know Ronaldo's still got that pace uh, that strength and uh, yeah getting behind I think that's a really really good um, in set of instructions for the players now if you do uh, and did enjoy this video then please leave a like comment if you do um, end up using this formation uh, tactics or whatever and let me know how, how you get on also let me know if you did like this type of video because I will definitely do more because obviously I use different formations and different tactics with different teams so <clears throat> if you want to like you tell me then let me know and if you did enjoy the video you know hit that subscribe button if you haven't already I'd really appreciate that and uh, yeah this is going to be the end of the video thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video peace